Hi and welcome to another Onkyo video and welcome to my test bench. Here you can see you've got the TXNR609 and my laptop and today we're going to be talking about streaming audio and video to the 609 and then onto the screen. So without further ado let's get on and start talking about it. There's been a lot of talk about using Apple's AirPlay with all sorts of different products and today I'm going to show you how to use Apple's AirPlay with the TXNR609. What I'm going to try and cover today is the fact that it's simple to use and it works. And this is it, the Apple TV. Now if you have a large iTunes collection with audio as well as video then you can use this to stream both the movies and your music along with pictures and anything else you have in your iTunes library. It's very very versatile and it caters for everything that you need out of your iTunes library. The first thing we need to do with the Apple TV is to hook it up to the 609 and that's really really simple. It's just a case of one HDMI lead and one power lead. That's it because built into the Apple TV is a wireless connection to the network the same as the 609 can have a wireless connection to the network. The first thing we need to do with the Apple TV is to connect it to your wireless network. So if you go into the general settings then to network and you would then configure your Wi-Fi here you can see in the lower corner I've already actually done that. Then the next thing you need to do is to share your library from your iTunes whether that be on your PC or your Mac. I've got mine here. The great thing about using this particular system over any other is the fact that you get the award-winning Onkyo sound and picture quality with all of Apple's features which allow you to stream video and audio through to your home cinema. As you can see here in the menu there's an Onkyo demonstration video which I'm just about to show you. Now after pressing the home button you're given the on-screen GUI and you're just about to be shown the audio controls on this particular soundtrack which is bass, treble, subwoofer and centre level and music optimizer. And we can also adjust video, which is something that's just about to happen. We move down, hit enter, and if you move down to pitch mode it's set to custom. By pressing enter it allows us to change brightness, contrast, hue, and saturation. This enables you to have basic video settings so you can calibrate the system on a basic level to achieve a better picture quality and picture result. And this allows us to have as much flexibility as possible for getting the right looking picture. So you can make these adjustments knowing on each individual input you're getting as close to what the director intended. So we come out of the video mode, we go down to the inputs this gives us all the relevant information as far as signal, what leads are being used, input and output, and name of the particular inputs. As you can see here at the moment, it's PCM2 channel. And here's the video information 720p in from the Apple TV, and the 609 using the QDO chip is scaling it up to 1080p and outputting it. You can also change the particular listening mode on the fly. So if we've come out of the info section, drop down and go into particular inputs, you can set the music, movie, TV mode, game mode or THX mode to a particular DSP, that's digital sound field. And you can preset that so the next time it sees that particular signal, it will default to that input. And that's just a quick run through of the video information so you can achieve high def sound and high def picture. 
Now I'm going to show you the AirPlay part of the Apple TV running through the 609. As you see here, I've got it selected on my library with the main Apple screen and here's my iPhone. Now I've got a track selected and playing. Now if I press the AirPlay button, I get given the choice of the iPhone which is ticked or the Apple TV. So I've pressed the Apple TV and the information is now sent from my iPhone to the Apple TV. And here you can clearly see the album that I was listening to on my iPhone, now transferred across to the Apple TV and playing. And don't forget, you can actually do this with movies as well. So it makes it very, very nice and portable and flexible. And hooking up the Apple TV through the 609 gives you a whole new world of entertainment. So if you're thinking that you want to use AirPlay with your iTunes account, then this is a possible combination. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.